The Duchy of Athens was one of the Crusader states set up in Greece after the conquest of the Byzantine Empire during the Fourth Crusade, encompassing the regions of Attica and Boeotia, and surviving until its conquest by the Ottoman Empire in the 15th century. History Establishment of the Duchy The first Duke of Athens was Otto de la Roche, a minor Burgundian knight of the Fourth Crusade. Although he was known as the Duke of Athens, from the foundation of the Duchy in 1205, the title did not become official until 1260. Instead, Otto proclaimed himself Lord of Athens. The local Greeks called the Dukes Megas Kyris, from which the shortened form Megas Gaia, often used even by the Franks to refer to the Duke of Athens, is derived. Athens was originally a vassal state of the Kingdom of Thessalonica, but after Thessalonica was captured in 1224 by Theodore, the despot of Epirus, the Principality of Achaea claimed suzerainty over Athens, a claim disputed by the de la Roche in the War of the Euboeota succession. Like the rest of Latin Greece, however, the duchy recognized the suzerainty of Charles I of Sicily after the Treaties of Aterbo in 1267. The duchy occupied the Attic Peninsula as well as Boeotia and extended partially into Thessaly, sharing an undefined border with Thessalonica and then Epirus. It did not hold the islands of the Aegean Sea, which were Venetian territories, but exercised influence over the Latin triarchy of Negroponte. The buildings of the Acropolis in Athens served as the palace for the dukes. Catalan conquest The duchy was held by the family of La Roche until 1308, when it passed to Walter Vibrienne. Walter hired the Catalan Company, a group of mercenaries founded by Roger de Flor, to fight against the Byzantine successor state of Epirus. But when he tried to dismiss and cheat them of their pay in 1311, they slew him and the bulk of the Frankish nobility at the Battle of Harmyros and took over the duchy. Walter's son Walter via Brienne retained only the lordship of Argos and now Plea, where his claims to the duchy were still recognized. In 1312, the Catalans recognized the suzerainty of King Frederick III of Sicily, who appointed his son Manfred as duke. The ducal title remained in the hands of the Crown of Aragon until 1388, but actual authority was exercised by a series of vicars general. In 1318-19, the Catalans conquered Sidero Castron and the south of Thessaly as well, and created the Duchy of Neopatris, united to Athens. Part of Thessaly was conquered from the Catalans by the Serbs in the 1340s. Under a Aragonese rule, the feudal system continued to exist, not any more under the assizes of Romania, but under the customs of Barcelona, and the official common language was now Catalan instead of French. Each city and district, on the example of Sicily, had its own local governor, whose term of office was fixed at three years and who was nominated by the Duke, the Vicar General or the local representatives. The principal towns and villages were represented by the syndic, which had their own councils and officers. Judges and notaries were elected for life or even as inherited officers. Decline and fall in 1379 the Navarres Company, in the service of the Latin Emperor James Abu, conquered Thebes and part of Neopatria. Meanwhile, the Aragonese kept another part of Neopatris and Attica. After 1381 the duchy was ruled by the kings of Sicily until 1388 where the Acerioli family of Florence captured Athens. Neopatris was occupied in 1390. From 1395 to 1402 the Venetians briefly controlled the duchy. In 1444 Athens became a tributary of Constantine Paleologus, the despot of Moria and heir to the Byzantine throne. In 1456, after the fall of Constantinople to the Ottoman Empire, Turahanoglu Oma Bey conquered the remnants of the duchy. Despite the Ottoman conquest, the title of Duke of Athens and Neopatris continued in use by the kings of Aragon, and through them by the kings of Spain, up to the present day. The Latin Church in the Duchy of Athens 
Athens was the seat of a metropolitan archdiocese within the Patriarchate of Constantinople when it was conquered by the Franks. The sea, however, was not of importance, being the 28th in precedence in the Byzantine Empire. Nonetheless, it had produced the prominent clergyman Michael Choniates. It was a metropolitan sea with 11 suffragans at the time of conquest. Euripus, Dahlia, Caroni, Andros, Oreos, Cyrus, Charistos, Porthmuse, Orlan, Syra and Seraphus, and CEOs and Thermia. The structure of the Greek church was not significantly changed by the Latins, and Pope Innocent III confirmed the first Latin Archbishop of Athens, Berard, in all his Greek predecessors' rights and jurisdictions. The customs of the Church of Paris were imported to Athens, but few Western European clergymen wished to be removed to such a distant sea as Athens. Antonio Ballesta, however, an educated Catalan, had a successful career in Greece as Archbishop. The Parthenon, which had been the Orthodox Church of the Theotokos Athenaeotisa, became the Catholic Church of St. Mary of Athens. The Greek Orthodox Church survived as an underground institution without official sanction by the governing Latin authorities. The Greek clergy had not typically been literate in the 12th century and their education certainly worsened under Latin domination. When the church was illegal, the Archdiocese of Thebes also lay within the Athenian duchy. Unlike Athens, it had no suffragans. However, the Latin archbishopric produced several significant figures as archbishops, such as Simon Artumino. It had a greater political role than Athens because it was situated in the later capital of the duchy at Thebes. Under the Catalans, the Athenian diocese had expanded its jurisdiction to 13 suffragans, but only the diocese of Megara, Dahlia, Salona, and Budenitsa lay with the duchy itself. The archiepiscopal offices of Athens and Thebes were held by Frenchmen and Italians until the late 14th century, when Catalan or Aragonese people began to fill them. Dukes of Athens De La Roche family of Burgundian origin The dukes of the petty lordly family from La Roche renewed the ancient city of Plato and Aristotle as a courtly European capital of chivalry. The state they built around it was, throughout their tenure, the strongest and most peaceful of the Latin creations in Greece. Otto, Guy I, John I, William I, Guy II, Briennus claimants the Athenian parliament elected the Count of Brienne to succeed Guy, but his tenure was brief and he was killed in battle by the Catalans. His wife briefly had control of the city, too. The heirs of Brienne continued to claim the duchy, but were recognized only in Argos and now Plia. Walter Vere Brienne, Joanna of Châtillon, Walter Vier Brienne, Isabella of Brienne, Soye of Engin, Walter IV of Engin, Louis of Engin, Aragonese domination The annexation of the duchy to first the Catalan company and subsequently Aragon came after a disputed succession following the death of the last Burgundian duke. The Catalans recognized the king of Sicily as sovereign over Athens and this left the duchy often as an appanage in the hands of younger sons and, under vicars general, Roger Deslaw, Manfred, William II, John II, Frederick I, Frederick II, Maria, Peter IV, Catalan vicars general These were the vicars general of the crown of Sicily, and after 1379 of the crown of Aragon. Beringer Estanel, Alfonso Fadrique, Otto of Nivelles, possibly appointed pro tempore to lead the war against Walter V of Brienne in 1331, Nicholas Lancher, Raymond Bernardi, Gonsalvo Zimenez of Arenos, Matthew of Moncada, Peter de Poe, Roger de Uria, de facto and unrecognized until 1366, Gonsalvo Zimenez of Arenos, uncertain. Matthew of Moncada, only de jure, Matthew of Peralta, Louis Fadrique, Philip Dalmore, Viscount of Roqueberti Raymond de Villanova, deputy of Philip Dalmore after his departure from Greece, Bernard of Cornella, never actually went to Greece, 
Philip Dalmore, Viscount of Rockaberti Peter of Pau, Deputy of Bernard of Cornella and then of Philip Dalmore in Greece until the fall of Athens to Nerio Acciarioli. Acciarioli family The Florentine Acciarioli governed the duchy from their removal of the Catalans, with the assistance of the Navarres. While Nerio willed the city and duchy to Venice, it returned to the Florentines until the Turkish conquest. Nerio I, Antonio I, Venetian control, under Podestis, Albano Contarini Lorenzo Vigna Ermu Aldo Contarini Niccolo Vittori, Antonio I, restored, Nerio II, Antonio II, Nerio II, restored, Claire with Bartolo Mio Contarini, Francesco I, Francesco II, 